This HAN Network video is brought to you by Walter Stewart's Market. We are joined by the boys indoor track and field team at Danbury High School with Rocco Veluso. I'm Rob Adams. These guys are going to introduce themselves, and then Rocco and I are going to drop the microphones. They're going to pick it up and do the interview. That's how good these guys are. We'll start with this guy right here. Hello, I'm Devontae Clark, sprint captain. My name is Nano Asante. I am a short sprint captain. And hey, my name is Leo, and I'm a long sprinter. All right, Devante, pretty cool stuff you wrote down here. All-American in the Swedish relay. What was that all about? Well, we went down to Nationals, and the relay is a one, the two, the three, and the four. Collectively, and it starts at the start of the 200, and I was a 200 leg. Our 100 leg was Matt Andrews, but he graduated last year. The 300 was Jonathan Bartley. He's upstairs in school right now, and the 400, he's a junior now. Very cool. Good for you. Let's bring it over to Nano now. And uh, favorite memory? Tell me about that. Um, my favorite memory is Dartmouth. It's a meet we go to every single year. It's a great time for us to really connect with our fellow varsity sprinters. And, you know, it kind of jumps us into that championship mentality because it's so close to our championship season. And you wrote something else about giving a shout out to all your people on, on the team. You love your team, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I have to. I got to give a shout out to uh, Noel Diaz, Jonathan Bartley, and all the other seniors and even the freshman guys that are just coming on. I want to tell you guys I'm ready for big things and we're ready to get that triple count again. All right. That's great stuff. Rocco, down to you. Uh, Leo, it says um, you eat oatmeal every morning. Uh, why specifically that is your breakfast of choice? You know, I just I just want it to be a healthy meal. And he, coach tells us to stay away from all these certain foods that don't settle well in our stomachs. So, you know, I've done that, performed well. So, you know, keep it going. It's kind of a superstition of mine. And why mess with success? So, yeah. <laughs> A lot of success among these guys, and these guys do a great job. They were a lot of fun to talk to off the air and just as good on the air. So we're going to segue out of these guys, bring in the rest of the captains, so we thank them for their time. And as we move right into the next group of captains here with the boys' track and field team at Danbury High School, we'll let them introduce themselves. My name's, my name's Jake Roberts, head captain. Uh, I do mid-distance. I'm Kyle Tuttle and I'm a thrower. Jake, what are the expectations for the team this year? You know, um, in Connecticut, everyone wants to be all state, everyone wants to be New England, but no one wants to put in the work. At Danbury, that's what we're good at. We put in the work, everyone tries very hard, and that's why we're one of the reoccurring top three teams in the state. Everyone on the team, a team of 100, uh, they're so dedicated, they're so hard working, and that's why we come back every year and we do so well. Everyone really tries very hard. I think it, as, as we've reached this point in our tour, uh, we're probably upwards over 100 students and athletes that we've spoken with. You're the first one, I think, to write a quote down. What was this all about? Um, uh, we go to this invite called the Yale Invitational, and um, I remember uh, right before my race, I found a quarter on the ground, and I didn't really think anything of it. I uh, towed the line, and I had a terrible race, but, you know, um, there's tons of races in your career of four years. You'll have bad races, you'll have good races. In the very next race, this big invitation, the New Balance Games, I found another quarter, I picked it up, and I had my best race of the season. So if you're ever given um, like a bit of luck, I always think it goes a long way. Uh, it's just something I, I thought of. That's great. All right, let's head it down to Rocco. Uh, Kyle, who do you perceive as your um, biggest competition this year, um, like in the FCAC and the state as well? Uh, definitely. It's always uh, staples every year. They're one of our biggest rivals. They're always competing with us. We're always one and two at FCX and even Class Up Wales. Um, how do they compare um, to you in terms of like uh, the strengths in their events? Do uh, they have different strengths as opposed to yours? Or are you pretty much strong in the same events? Or? I mean, they're a really strong team, but I believe that we have more depth. I think we are one of the deepest teams in the state, and I think that's what's going to give us the advantage. Great stuff, you guys. We wish you a lot of luck this season. Thank you. Thank All you. right. High regard for the track and field team here at Danbury High School as they all come running back in. <laughs> These guys are good. All right, we'll see them. We'll see them out there. The boys indoor track and field team at Danbury High School on the HAN Network.